Uh-oh. Better put this away so it doesn't get wet. Well, I guess the weather is changing. It even smells like rain now. Yep. Good thing you were prepared with your raincoat and umbrella. When do you think this rain will stop? I'm not sure, but it looks like you have a friend. I think he thinks you're a duck. Now why would he think that? Well, you kind of look like a duck. Oh, that's silly. <laughs> now you know you can not only predict the weather, but you can also measure it. Measure the weather? Yeah. For instance, we can tell how much rain will fall today what direction the wind is blowing, the amount of pressure in the air, and what the temperature is right now. By using weather instruments or tools, you can find out and track the weather at any time. Well, I know what I can use to measure the temperature. I know I have one of them in here. Aha! My temperature meter I think you mean thermometer. Yes. That's what I meant, a thermometer. A thermometer is a device that measures temperature. And much like your computer there, many of today's thermometers are digital. So they just show the temperature on a screen. There are other types of thermometers that use a sealed glass tube with some type of liquid in it that expands or contracts as temperatures rise and fall. Oh yeah. We use thermometers like that in science class to measure temperature. Hey, watch it. How can you measure the amount of pressure in the air? And what does that even mean? Good question. Air pressure is the force put on you by all of the tiny particles of air. When the air particles are compressed or pushed together, air is said to be under high pressure. We measure this pressure with a special instrument called a barometer. A barometer? Yes. This weather tool tells us whether or not the pressure in the air is rising or falling. When the barometer is rising, it usually means sunny and dry conditions. But a falling barometer can mean stormy and wet conditions. Well. By all this rain, I would say the barometer is falling today. That reminds me, I know what I can use to figure out just how much of this rain is falling. This rain gauge can tell me just how much rain falls in a given time period. That's correct. A rain gauge has numbers on the side to let us know how much rain falls in a certain period of time. The best place to put a rain gauge is in an open area that is protected from the wind or tall buildings. Wind can affect how much rain is gathered, and tall buildings may block the rain. <laughs> that makes sense. Hey! Well, that looks like a good place for it. When rain falls, it's often absorbed into the earth, making it hard to tell just how much rain is coming down. By using this tool, we can get an accurate amount of rain that has fallen over a given period of time. Another good tool for measuring weather is a weather vane. A weather vane can tell you the direction that the wind is coming from. Kind of like watching the clouds. Yes. Although many people buy weather vanes as a decoration, these instruments can tell us what direction the wind is blowing from. They have the directions north, south, east, and west labeled. So the pointer on the weather vane usually indicates the direction the wind is blowing from. It's best to put a weather vane somewhere in the open and high if possible. This way, no buildings or trees block it. Whoa, that is the best idea I've seen all day. <laughs> When it comes to measuring the weather, there are lots of tools that you can use. Tools that people have used for many, many years. Huh. I never knew. <laughs>